everybody and welcome back to our next maker project. Today is going to be all about giving you a hand. That's right, today we're working on uh, building a kind of a version of a puppet or part of a puppet uh, and maybe also a lesson in anatomy here by making this model of a hand. So um, we're going to get started in just a minute. This is a fun project. It's, uh, it's a great kind of activity to start to think about how our own bodies work. You know, if you think about how our fingers work, you might be able to see some of those tendons moving in your arm. Uh, and we're going to kind of create a version of that using string. You'll need just a few simple supplies for this project. You'll need some cardboard. I found, um, I found this here, uh, but you might have a cereal box, or maybe you have some cardstock that you want to use. You'll need a few straws. I found a few in a back drawer, some paper straws, or excuse me, some plastic straws with a paper wrapper. Uh, you might find something or, or uh, something that you can use. Uh, some kind of string. I found some yarn. And um, I'm going to use glue, but you can also just use clear tape. Okay? Either one is going to work just fine for this project. So you ready? Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is get my cardboard ready. So I need a piece of cardboard that's going to be about the size of a hand. And so this first step, you might need a helper. You might need a hand model. So I'm going to borrow a hand right here, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, so I've got my hand, I've got my pencil, and all I'm going to do is sketch out uh, or kind of trace out that person's hand. In this case, my cameraman. So I'm going to not just do the fingers themselves, but also a little bit of the wrist. So make sure you, you give a little extra space so that way you can do maybe two or three inches of wrist. Before that hand goes away, we're also going to take note of where all those bending points are, where the knuckles are. So I'm going to put, make a little mark there where each of those spots are. Okay, so each of those joints on the finger. Okay, thank you. All right, and now I'm going to go back in and just kind of sketch those spots right where they are on the fingers. We'll need that in a second. Okay, so I've got my sketches where those bending points are, and I've got my trace of my hand, and now I'm going to cut it out. So I've got my hand here, and it's ready to go. I'm going to take a look at where I made all those little marks, and I'm just going to make a little bend in all those spots just to help our creation. The next part is uh, I'm going to take my straw, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to cut a piece uh, to fit each of these little segments. So they're going to be small, probably less than half an inch, depending on the size of the hand that you're making. So I'll cut a little piece for each of these, and then we're going to have a few longer pieces there on the wrist. So I'm going to do that now. Now, if, you have, if you're using glue or tape, this is the point where you're going to put down a little drop of glue. Of course, be real careful with hot glue. Stay away from the tip of the glue gun and also from the glue itself. And I'm going to start to put down piece by piece those little segments of straw. Now that I have all of my finger pieces laid out and glued in place, I'm going to add some pieces for the wrist. I'm going to make these pieces a little longer. These pieces are about an inch by each. And you'll need one for each finger. So you're going to just glue those down in place at about the wrist of your hand. Uh, 
so I have my hand ready, all done now, all the segments. I have straw pieces in place, and I also have some longer pieces here at the wrist. I'm going to do one more bend here at the wrist, right in front of all these straws. In the end, I use three straws. I use three of these paper straws, so you might use more or less depending on the size of your hand. My next step, you can probably guess, is to add our string. So I'm just using yarn. It should be pretty simple to use. I'll take pieces that are about two feet in length, but if you've got room to spare, you can make them a little bit longer. And it doesn't matter whether you start at the front or the back, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed it through from the wrist. I'm going from the wrist and through each finger. We're going to use five separate pieces of string. If you need help, you might need a little toothpick or maybe a pencil to kind of help you push through. <clears throat> As you get one string in, uh, what you're going to do now is tie a knot at the end of this. You could glue it in place or you could even tape it behind. Uh, or you can tie a knot. So we're going to do something simple here. We're going to add a little piece of tape on the back side. Make sure it's nice and firm and you can give it your first test. Hopefully you can see that finger is starting to make that motion and movement uh, just as your thumb actually makes in real life. And of course, continue on this process with the other fingers. This is the back of the hand. This is the front of my hand. Now for the test. It's alive. It's alive. All right, and if you, uh, if you do it gently, you can still see that it, it works like a fist, right? I can pull it together. I can adjust each finger individually uh, or all together as a group to kind of ball up that hand. What could you do with it? Well, of course, this could be the start of a neat project where you could build two sets of hands uh, or maybe some other parts. Now, the next time somebody at home asks you to lend a hand, well, you've got one to spare. You can, uh, you can offer this one. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this project. I'd love to see what you're making. I hope you're having fun at home and trying out some new things uh, like this project right here. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.